Good day! Today, you're going to learn about a quizzes tutorial. So first, you have to log in and then you click create. Then you just choose quiz because the lesson are for paid accounts. Then you go and rename your quiz depending on the topic that you have. And then, of course, after writing your topic or the title of your quiz or the name of your quiz, select the subject matter that applies to your respective new quiz, like history, social studies, and geography. After that, just click next. And then you could see the type of questions that you're going to add. For now, we are going to have the fill in the blanks. For example, you're going to type in your first question. And your first question is something about China. So your question is, what is the capital city of China? You could type exactly the answer, like capital B for Beijing. Or you could have an alternative, which is a small letter B for Beijing. You click save. And then you could also add or edit pictures by adding some pictures from your device. And before saving, see to it that you have put English or any language that you wanted to use. After putting the language, like if you're using Filipino, Arabic, or English, then you just select it. And then for the year level, depending on what level you are teaching. For me, I'm going to put grades 9 to 12 because I am in a high school education program or I'm a secondary teacher. Click a public or private, visible to everyone, and then click save. Then, you could also adjust the time depending on the difficulty of your lesson. For now, I will click 30 seconds and then you could go ahead and teleport some questions from the banks of other quizzes teachers then select one topic that you think is applicable to be added to your quizzes you could manually add those particular questions All right. and then you try to check it also so as you could see as i click those questions and click add it automatically populates and then you could see that at the left side of this video. If you're done adding, you could click publish and then you can copy the link automatically or go to your dashboard and start the live quiz. Click the classic one and then you just click Continue. Share the link and the code to the students and click the start button. What's good about quizzes is that you could see the questions as well as the leatherboards as you go on playing with your students. Set the time but now I am going to end because I just practice it to show to you what it looks like. In overview, you could see how many correct answers your students have made as well as also you could click the questions to review them, get the correct answer or not. Also download the results by clicking download results.